Hey, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Thanks for checking out my video. Today's content is on first time buyers or second or third time buyers on home inspections and the importance or the lack of importance of them. Before we jump into the content, if you like the videos, click the, click the subscribe button. Uh, it's critically important for me to be able to deliver great content and I do it every week. So if you click the subscribe button, you'll be able to see them and not miss them. Now the content all comes from my selling real estate for 39 years and the uh, it's all value-based information that I've tried and true proven on a daily basis selling real estate. So part one of the home inspection dealing with inside the house. Now home inspectors typically deal in three major areas. Number one is the, um, the water and that's water inside the house or outside the house. It's very expensive if the water is getting inside the house and it's not supposed to be. Number two is electrical and determining whether it's aluminum or, or copper wiring. And number three is HVAC, central air and heating system. What they'll do is they'll also give you some timelines on how long these things are going to last. So let's jump into straight into number one, which is HVAC. So what they'll do is they'll partially disassemble the, um, the furnace and they'll look at the heat exchanger and they'll see if, make sure it's not cracked, which is probably the number one reason they have to be replaced. And they'll give you some feedback on how long they believe it's going to last. Number two is electrical. The house is under 20 years old. You would think that you should have no issues with electrical. However, if the homeowner decided to do the basement themselves and wire it themselves, there could be risk at some safety issues. So that's what they're going to determine, whether or not there's any safety issues. Number three is foundation. And what they're looking at, because this is only a visual inspection, what they'll look at is they'll look at their They'll use an infrared camera and probes to see if there's any water that's inside the concrete, if there's any moisture level. Uh, next one, number four, is insulation. Very simple. They'll just do a visual check, see how much insulation is in there, whether it needs code, whether it needs more insulation. And the last is plumbing, which is very similar to electrical. Sometimes people plumb their own basements, do a bathroom downstairs, and they just want to make sure it's done to code. Now, what I've noticed is this. I've done hundreds, if not over a thousand inspections that I've been involved in. 90% of what you see are just to-do lists. Things like um, replacing furnace filters or, or doing caulking the windows or downspout control, like moving the downspouts away from the foundation. Things like that. Rarely do we see a deal blow up because of a home inspection, but it does. And in part two, what I'm going to do is describe exactly what happened in the past week with a septic inspection. If you've got any questions, just uh, shoot me a message in the comment section on YouTube, or you can catch me on any of my social media platforms. And I'll look forward to seeing you on part two of the home inspection series.